Okay, what is your name? Maya. Where are you from? I'm from Sweden, but my parents are from Finland, so I'm Scandinavian. <laughs> okay. Would you consider people in Scandinavia more open sexually than other cultures in the world? Um, I think uh, we speak quite uh, liberate about sex, so it's, it's an open question. And parents and kids discuss it with each other, so it's, it's not a taboo thing. Hmm, difficult question. I'd say Norway is the most open country. But then I think Sweden's just neck to neck with Norway. Uh, Scandinavian? I don't know. I don't know. I've no. never thought about it. But you yourself, you perceive to be a person who can talk about yeah. sex without a problem. Yeah, no problem. Hmm. No problem. How about you, Julie? You're also uh, comfortable talking about sex with your parents, uh, your friends and everything? Yeah, the same. Um, yeah, probably. I think it's more... Um, God, I haven't been speaking English for a while. Uh, <laughs> it's it's more equal here, so it, you know it comes down to being more equal when it comes to sex and stuff as well. So it's okay for a girl to you know to want to have sex, same way as it is for men. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, especially the young people, uh, yeah. are, but also the older generation. I think my mom and, and my father's generation are pretty open. Uh, but it, it's getting better, you know, as, as the generations proceed, so okay. I think they're, it's good. So do you talk openly about sex with your parents? <laughs> well, it depends, you know, how close you are to your parents, but, but if you have problems, I think you talk more to your friends. Are you comfortable with the word sex, yeah, or should I change to a different term? No, no, no. Okay, okay, because okay. if you want, we can talk about, you know, making love. So what is your name? Maya. How old are you? I'm 23. Uh, do you think people here in, in Denmark are, are open sexually? Yes, very. Yeah. 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 Um, would you yourself, person, now it's a personal, personal question, consider having sex multiracially? Yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. What, what race in particular or what culture in particular? Oh, mm, not like uh, in particular any race or anything, but I wouldn't mind being with a man from another religion or another with another skin color or anything. No. Have you considered uh, Brazilians? Mm. Would you be open to uh, to making stuff with a person from Brazil? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. No, I say that because I'm from Brazil. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. You know. Maybe like from England or something, but not like from Turkey or Iraq or something. Why? Why is that? Why from England? I just, just, ex just like an example, but I don't know. I don't like people from like Iraq and something like that. I'm, uh, I'm a bit, um, what do you mean, racist? I don't want to say. It. You don't want to say? Yes, yes, I, don't, I understand, but I am. Um, I don't like uh, these. What uh, like, 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 Muslim. Muslims, and because they are, uh, they love uh, this hair <laughs> and this color, and I don't like that. They think I'm beautiful and just want to have sex with me because I'm beautiful. I don't like that. Is there a, um, is there a particular position that, that you find to be more comfortable or that brings you more pleasure? <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, well, we, we, we get conflicting uh, um, answers usually. We usually get people who say, uh, we want, uh, I, I like to be, uh, you know, mommy and daddy, like daddy here, yeah, mommy here sort of thing. Uh, other people prefer doggy style. You, uh, uh, Julie, do you have a particular? It's different. Depends on the situation. Doggy style. I don't know, from behind. <laughs> oh, God. Why? Because it gives me more pleasure. And it also gives the guy, yeah, well, it yeah, sexually affects the guy more as well. He likes it that way. The missionary? Being top, I guess. When I'm on the top? Uh, above. On top? Yeah, on top. Because you can see your partner's face and it's intimate and... Yeah. You like them all? <laughs> I don't know. Do I like them all? 
it's, it's nice to vary things. And it depends on the, the place, the mood, the person, everything. Nothing really kinky then? No. Pretty much standard procedure. <laughs> standard sounds very boring. <laughs> What's your favorite sexual position? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Do I have to answer that one? <laughs> Just a standard missionary or maybe doggy style? <laughs> You're in fantasy world now, okay? What, what if you what if you could choose to have sex wherever you wanted, okay? Wherever you wanted, wherever. a dream place. Yeah, where where would it be? It would be on a, for example, a building like that, and a giant swimming pool on top, and light show above, and just the two of us up there. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, so you would be alone, nobody watching. Yes, for sure. <laughs> In a huge place with just uh, glass windows everywhere, with a lot of people going outside. A place where it's a special place where I don't have been before. If I could choose, I don't know, in a corner where everybody can see us. Okay, so a public place. A public place, yeah. Probably in an exotic country, nice and warm, sunny. Jamaica? With my boyfriend. Uh, Anywhere. In a supermarket. On the moon. Some nice beach, maybe in some hot country somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> in a other country? It would probably be um, somewhere in the nature. In <laughs> nature six. I don't know, somewhere outside, I guess. At uh, the beach? Like Water. Hello? <laughs> in the wood? What is it in the skull? Oh, in the woods? Yeah. Julie, have you ever sucked a lollipop? <laughs> On a guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. Okay. So you don't think it's dirty? No, I don't think it's dirty. Yeah, it's okay. Because I, because I myself, I, I used to suck a lot of lollipops when I was a child. Uh, <laughs> and you know, it was it was normal to me. Uh, my my brother also did it. My sister. We sucked all our lollipops together. If uh, we've been together for a long time, it's just a thing you do. Are you open to um, making stuff using uh, um, using your lips and, and mouth and, and, and the same thing for your boyfriend or counterpart? Yeah. Yeah, that's good too. Are, are you into oral sex? No. You don't? You think it's dirty? I don't think it's dirty, I just don't particularly like it. But do you like when a guy performs oral sex on you? Oh God! <laughs> yeah, well, it was sweet. It was sweet. Uh, they were kind of a kind of a, a purple lollipops. Blueberry. Yeah, blueberry. Have you have you tried lollipops? Yeah, I try. You like when a guy goes down on you? Yeah, yeah. Of course, I like it. But sometimes I like it a little more the other way around. Do you like uh, big lollipops better than uh, than small lollipops? Or? Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? Yeah. Because I like the big ones, because you can, uh, 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 instead of a... Uh. Yeah, I guess so. I've never, I've never had any experiences when, where I thought it was too small or anything, but yeah. Many people say no, but I would say yes. <laughs> Not really, but it matters how we use it. Good, good answer. I told once that you, you can do with me whatever you like to do, and he went like, <laughs> and then it hurts, you know? So, yeah. No, I don't think so. But it can't be too large, because uh, then it hurts. It does matter, but it's not the most important thing. Yeah, it's the most important thing is uh, that, you know, he knows how to use his thing, you know? <laughs>